So much on the line today at the Billabong Pipe Masters, waiting to find out who's going to take the world title. There's a lot of depth to Julian. He's had a huge year this year. Like to be able to find a space that allows him to be at his best. He threw the shoey. Yeah. Jordy just had like seriously raw talent, and then all of a sudden he was the superstar, and people were like, Jordy's an asshole. He's arrogant. He was like, No, that's the, the Jordy that I knew like for forever. You know, and he's never changed, which I kind of like. You know. The pressure and the world title, and I just kind of couldn't get in that relaxed state. You know, if I'm in that scenario again, I know how to approach it this time, and I know what works for me and what doesn't. In 2019, I just want to put together a strong season, and I want to have a happy journey. I want to enjoy every moment of it, and I want to put together some performances that really inspire people. Performances that leave people feeling something. That's my goal. It has been a big year, 514 heat surf. There is three to go here at the last event of the season. My dream is to win a world title. Uh, I really think I can do it. Yes, a driving hard. Big flow in oh, transition. Oh, wow. Jordy having a look at this one. The crowd turning up for their hometown hero. Julian Wilson, wide open fit. Oh, amazing way for Julian Wilson. Meanwhile, Lakey Peterson. In the world of competitive surfing, all roads lead to one place, the Bonsai Pipeline. It's the home of the last men's event on the WSL Championship Tour, the Billabong Pipe Masters. And this year, like so many that have come before it, the world's best surfers will compete at the world's best wave to determine who will win the 2018 world title. Pop Masters is such a big deal. There's so much history involved around that event. The first thought, I think, when you think about Pipeline is how good the wave is and how such a big barrel it is. But then kind of the crowd is second to that, you know. It's one of the most intense lineups in the world. And there's more people that have died at Pipe than any other surf break. So there's always been this kind of proving ground element in Hawaii. There's a lot at stake, you know. Pipes. I think it's the most prestigious trophy to hold above your head, I think, for sure. I think it's, it's the perfect event to decide the best overall surfer of the year. It's the toughest event to win. It takes guts and grit, determination, heart. You've got to put it all in there to, to even have a chance. It's unpredictable, it's challenging, it's beautiful, it's everything. I'm sure I'll be scared out of my wits. We're at the Hurley house and we're in the garage. Yeah, pipe's really easy to break a board. That's why I've got, I don't know how many boards here, but probably about 25, 30 board quiver. The event window at Pipeline is almost open. And after a month's break in Australia, Julian Wilson is on the North Shore, readying himself for the contest ahead. He's in second place on the Jeep leaderboard, meaning a win at the Billabong Pipe Masters could bring him his first world title. That feels super nice. Short board length, but design with pipe and back door in mind. This will be my seventh year. Yeah, it's always like a real butterfly event. It gives you the butterflies and not a lot of sleep, a lot of um, excitement. Hi, Kimmy. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah. Okay. Like so many other elite athletes, Julian looks to his entourage for support in times like this. And in addition to his wife Ashley, his coach Kingy, and other friends and family, he's relying upon a little extra guidance from his sports psychologist, Jason Patchell. I've worked with Jules for about three or four years now. There's a lot of depth to Julian, and I think he's incredibly sensitive. He's had a huge year this year. Like The amount of adversity, the adjustment, transition, um, being a dad. And he's just learned to rise above it all. 
to be able to find a space that allows him to be at his best. As a surfer, I think I like to have a go. For instance, I think an opportunity to do a higher air than I've ever done, even though you could do an air that you know you're going to make, but you could also do an air that you haven't done before. That's, to me, having a go. Sometimes the waves are big and scary and super challenging, and not everybody wants to have a go. And I think I'd love to have a go. Being willing to have a go is putting yourself out there and, and it's a vulnerable place to be, but I don't know, that just kind of like gets me stoked. While Julian Wilson is focused on the world title at Pipeline, Jordy Smith is looking to bring home another coveted trophy, the band's Triple Crown. The Triple Crown is basically three major events in Hawaii over a month and a half period, you know, where all the best surfers in the world come and compete at. Yeah, it's a very, very great accomplishment if you can get one. And I've had a few seconds, been the bridesmaid a few times, but uh, I think I want to become the bride for sure. Over the last month in Hawaii, Jordy has found his share of success in the first two events of the three-part series. Weaving down the line, Smith's in the barrel and Smith's out of the barrel. Hammer time. Dude, that was sick. Just wanted to do really well, you know? Try and get a really good head start on the Triple Crown. The waves are pretty good, and I think just in between those two events, we just scored some really good waves. Kind of just gave me a lot of confidence going into pop. Now, Jordy's heading into the final event of the trilogy, needing a win to secure the Vans Triple Crown trophy. Though he's sitting in a solid sixth place on the Jeep leaderboard, Jordy Smith has fallen short of his own expectations. But a victory at Pipeline could not only deliver him the coveted Vans Triple Crown trophy, it also would lift him into the top five. Gal gals. Yo, yo. What up, dude? We're just outside. Help will come from an always critical resource, his coach and board shaper, Chris Gallagher. How are you, doggy? Good. Ready to rock? Yeah. Ever shaped a purple rain? Oh, Prince. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Chris Gallagher, he started out as my coach and then evolved into my surfboard shaper. We've had a relationship for about 10 years, but recently over the last four years, we've become extremely close. Along with him and my dad, that's also a surfboard shaper, they come up with designs together with my information and my input. That's gonna suit me best on tour. Yeah, so Jordy uh, bought a house here. He loves it here. And being a big guy, this ocean and this, this place really tends to uh, get him excited. That feels good volume. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah, Jordy's hard to shape for just based on his size. And so he needs a certain length board because he's so tall. But you can see that a certain length board isn't going to fit into the curves of certain waves. Jordy has to find a way to have a lot of rocker in his boards. Rocker is the bend, the banana of the board. And then that allows him to fit into the curves he wants to fit. So he wants to surf like a little guy, but he's a big guy. So actually getting a board with rocker to go fast and do all the things he wants is, is tricky and the margin for error goes way up. I just have to finish screen it, but that's pretty much done, I think. I trust it. That looks freaking nice. I like the rails on that. There's no way to prepare for these waves outside of get the equipment that you need and be out surfing when they break. That's the only way you get to learn the reef, to know the waves, small directions, and your confidence just rises every single time you surf out there. So the more you surf it, the more confident you become, the more risks you take, the better chances that you're gonna get big scores. With the final test of the season approaching, balance is as important as ever. Julian Wilson sat out the other Vans Triple Crown events to conserve himself. And today, a round of golf, organized by a sponsor, Hurley, should give him at least a momentary break from the tension and pressure he's feeling. I might go whack a ball. My 
My dream is to win a world title. It keeps me up at night, gets me super excited. It drives me in a way that I enjoy. Oh, yes. oh. And I'll just keep trying to chip away at it. I really think I can do it. Jordy Smith finds a quieter form of downtime, alongside his friend and manager, Damien Farrenfort. Moments like these can remind him how far he's come. <laughs> We've known each other since 1994. I was seven years old, Vic Bay. Yeah, Vic Bay so is I think it's almost around, I think it's 25 years? Yeah. About that. Long time. Still pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, on the board. Ah! It's pretty wild. Sometimes I look back and I think, like, how, how did we get so lucky to get here? Jordy just had, like, seriously raw talent, but it was a much longer arc for him than, like, most upcoming pros with his kind of talent. And then all of a sudden he was, like, insanely famous. There was this bidding war, he was winning everything, and he was the superstar. No! And people were like, Jordy's an asshole, he's arrogant. He was like, no, that's the, the Jordy that I knew, like, for, forever. You just changed your position towards him because you all of a sudden have this expectation on him. You know, and he's never changed, which I kind of like, you know? I want to be the best version of me. I know that I'm going to put out my best product when you do it for nothing but the love and the joy of doing it. When you purely do it for you and for the love and because you enjoy it and because you freak out about every single thing about it or every moment, that's when it's really, really organic and it's pure. It's going to be what it's going to be, but you've got there and, and have fun and, and do it. You paddle, you stand, you wiggle, wiggle, and you get the score. At least that's my way of doing it. Aloha Kakayaka, good morning and welcome to Pipeline. So much on the line today at the Billabong Pipe Masters. Still waiting to find out who's going to take the world title trophy. It's perched next to us here, Julian Wilson. The only pipe master of the title contenders, chatting with his coach there, Andy King. Once again, the road is ultimately taking the surfing world to pipeline. And for Julian Wilson, second on the Jeep leaderboard, it's remarkably simple. Win here and keep hope alive for a first world title. Standing in his way is a formidable opponent, 2014 world champion Gabriel Medina, who's currently atop the Jeep leaderboard and needs just to make the semis to secure a second world title. To be clear, if Medina pulls that off, Julian's title hopes will be over. I mean, obviously it means it's been a super competitive year. When the world title comes down to pipe, it's come down to us. And I think Pipeline is here for a reason. And also we got the Vance Triple Crown title on the line. Geordie Smith still chasing that honor. My main goal at Pipeline was to make the final and, and have a chance to win the contest. For me, it was something new. I'd spent a bunch of time training throughout the entire winter. It was just very clear-minded thinking. Uh, I really wanted something to prove and just go after it. Jordy eyeing this one off. There's that boil. Well positioned, grabs the rail, tucks in, should find his way through. There he is. That feels good. You come to surf pipeline, you respect the wave more than anything else. Yago Dora at pipe, Julian Wilson at back door. Dora comes out, double barrel, double trouble, and Wilson comes oh. out. The waves on the final day were pretty amazing. Gabe Medina, he's been so good at staying in the zone. Me and Gabriel have a great respect for each other. I feel like as the event goes on, the more heats I make, the closer I get to him. I'm hoping to put the pressure on him. It feels to me like Julian's kind of picking up his pace just a little bit. You know, he's starting to look a little looser, a little freer, and the crowd are loving it. Jordy Smith on his way to the semis here at the Billabong Pipe Masters. Julian Wilson keeps his title hopes alive, moving on to the semi-final to battle Kelly Slater. It has been a big year, 514 heat surf. There is three to go. An amazing final four here at the last event of the season. Jordy Smith up against Gabriel Medina. Jordy Smith 
chasing a Triple Crown title, already on his way to his best ever finish here in the Billabong Pipe Masters. Counting down semi-final number one in three, two, one. And here goes Jordy Smith right off the bat at back door, and he's coming out. Obviously, Gabrielle had been surfing really well throughout the whole event, you know. I was out there to try and catch the two best waves, and I couldn't care less with whether Gabrielle was in my heat or not. This just happened, Ronnie. This is an amazing backdoor pit. Look at that thing. Oh, my God. Wide open. That was one of the better backdoor barrels we've seen all day. That is going to be a massive score and a lot of pressure on Medina. And he has just dropped an 8.5. We know if Gabriel progresses through this heat, the world title race is done. He does get that world title. The wave's absolutely firing now. Wow. Gabe looking at Jordy. Jordy looking at Gabe. Jordy looking at the wave. Gabe looking at Jordy. And Jordy going to pull the trigger and go over the falls. Ooh. Does anyone work? over their competitors better without priority strider than Gabriel Medina. Jordy was not going, not going. I thought, wow, Jordy's really got a great poise. And then he finally sold him. I mean, it was crazy. Sold him on a closeout. Jordy, he had priority and he put himself in the wrong spot. So there you go, big turning point. And then, yeah, he basically needed like a pretty big score. He got a wave, he got a 9.1. This wave's starting to set up nicely. He drags the body for a moment, locks in, the wave spits. He's still gunning. And Medina will come out with the second spit here at backdoor. <laughs> a 9.1. Medina goes to first. But we'll see what Geordie can do in response here. Good looking wave. Geordie's locked in. He's going to find his way through this one. Wow. A couple of peace signs. Geordie, you're down to second. You now need a 7.78, and you have a score coming. Stand by for the last of Geordie. If Gabriel remains in the lead, he will be the 2018 world champion. All right, last score of Jordy Smith is a 7.27. You're still in second. Gabriel Medina, your 2018 world champion. That's our sport. That's why we love it. That's why we hate it at times. I think if anything I can learn from it, I can just uh, I have to make it more black or white next year. That's it. In five, four, three. An incredible effort from Wilson to get into the semi-finals, but Gabriel always had his fate in his own hands. And that is it for Gabriel Medina, world title number two, world champion once again. I feel like Pipe kind of chooses the winner. I had to really pick myself back up at that time. It was pretty deflating. So Julian Wilson's quest for a first world title is over, but he's still a competitor and still in the semifinals with a shot at the prestigious Pipe Masters Trophy. Standing in his way right now, though, is legendary 11-time world champion Kelly Slater. Yeah, just had to refocus and, you know, take the opportunity that I had at hand to beat the greatest pipeline surfer of all time. Kelly Slater, who's chasing an eighth victory here at the Pipe Masters. He's got a good looking backdoor wave here, locks in, still rolling through this one, gets the exit. Something standing up here for Julian Wilson. Late takeoff under the curtain, locked in, still rolling. He'll come out of this one. Feels like he's just with each ride washing off the, the disappointment. And it's gonna get him fired up. Julian Wilson getting the victory in the semi-finals. The Billabong Pipe Masters will be a battle between the world number one and the world number two. The Kinks are ironed out and one heat away from the finals. Beat Kelly out there with full steam ahead, so it was good to, to stop him there. <laughs> yeah, Gabriel Medina just always looks so comfortable. It just must be a scary prospect for Julian Wilson. I just think he, he looks completely at ease. To be honest, I was just so beat up from taking my floggings and roller coaster ride of excitement throughout the day. I was happy that I was able to perform in the final and, and muster up a good performance. Bedina's first wave of the final, super deep at pipe. 
and comes out to Julian Wilson. Great positioning at Pipeline, who gets spit out. Going into a backhand, full rotation over the roof. Just to throw down the finishing <laughs> move. The Australian, delayed bottom turn, setting up the big pit of back door, beats the first section. Second oh. one's gonna let him out. Wow. Julian Wilson fired up on adrenaline. What I love about competing is the unpredictability of competing in the ocean. I love the back and forth competition between your competitor. I just, yeah, I love having the opportunity to win. Winning is like the pinnacle. I guess it's that feeling that you work towards all those other times that you're not winning. And it's a matter of beating that one or two other people that are, you're competing against at the time and, and doing whatever it takes to beat them. I don't know, it just gets me, it gets me going. It's, it's what I kind of live for. Medina is getting spit out again at back door. A lot of hi-fi action in this matchup. Here we go, Gabriel on another one. Big beat hook, just flowing through the barrel. It's amazing out here, are you kidding me? And Medina trying to punch free from that oh. inside wall, somehow hangs on. Nothing can take this man down. Setting up the final minute, Medina will use priority to sit inside a hollow pit and pipeline. Five, four, three, two, one. Gabriel Medina, your two-time world champ and your 2018 Billabong Pipe Master. He was not going to be denied today. to introduce your champion of the Billabong Pipe Masters, Gabriel Medina. The 2018 season is over. The world title trophies have been lifted and lowered. The sun set on another year of competition. The off-season now awaits. Time for surfers to take stock of all they learned and also look ahead to new beginnings in 2019. I've never been so tested. Being so close to achieving the title, it's going to take a bit of time to, to just kind of let that go. And yeah, it's hard to talk about because it's past tense now. I feel like Honolulu, I think the whole circumstance and the, the pressure and the world title and Mike being gone and I just kind of couldn't get in that relaxed state. It's great because now hindsight, I really learned what that feels like. You know, if I'm in that scenario again, I know how to approach it this time and I know what works for me and what doesn't. Yeah, kind of just looking back at my whole season, it was really just a year of like not being on the right side of the hump. You get those years where you're just really fighting and you're swimming upstream and you just don't feel like it was just happening for you. Yeah, I just thought, you know, well, you've given it your all and, and that's all you can do. And that's all you can ever ask of yourself, you know. If it's not enough at the end of the day, then you gotta come back next year. I don't think I got that same high as I did as winning this last contest in Maui as I, you know, the last time I felt that way was probably 2015 when I won my world title in Maui. So it was like a whole nother level of excitement and adrenaline and just stoke. But 2019, I just want to put together a strong season and I want to have a happy journey. I want to enjoy every moment of it and I want to put together some performances that really inspire people. Performances that leave people feeling something. That's my goal. I'm gonna do everything in my power to be the best in the world at this. My job is to win a world title. I am gonna dedicate my life to doing that. This year's could just be the building block for next year. 
I think I've worked hard for one and I've been close to achieving one so far, but I'll keep doing everything I possibly can to achieve it and that's all I can do. It's just a couple heats, 